Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is my list of 16 must have apps or 16 must have paid apps on your Android device. So guys, you can definitely see more than 16 apps over here. So there are about 26. So from those, the bottom three rows, which are 10 apps are definitely not a must have app. I just bought them to encourage the developer and support the developers and the rest of the 16 apps at the top made me buy those apps. So the first thing is the titanium backup and most of you might have already known what it is. So you can literally backup and restore all your applications and all your data with just few clicks. So it's really useful and handy if you switch between multiple Android devices. Next thing is the GSAM battery monitor which I've been using for quite a long time. And it has been my go-to app to see how the battery gets discharged and so on. I guess the GSAM battery monitor app isn't a must have. But once again, I bought it because I like the features and I have been using it for maybe one or two years and I was very much impressed with the app. So the next app is TSF Shell Launcher and this is how it looks. So it has some amazing options, features, gestures and I guess this is one of the few apps or launchers which will allow you to sort the app drawer based on installation time. So that's something I really miss and I have a lot of apps installed that's why it's taking too long to open. Don't ask me how many. So anyway guys, that's TSF Shell and the worst part is that after I bought it for some reason, that app is available for free in India. So the next app is Better Battery Stats, once again an app to track how your battery is getting discharged or how quickly your battery gets charged. So all those stuff can be found there. So the next app is Device ID Changer. So this has been a life changer for me. This is how the app looks. And using this one single application with the help of exposed framework, I can change all these values with the tap of just two buttons. So if I want to change my IMEA number, Android ID and so on, simply do that. Select random all, it will create random numbers. And when I press apply, they are applied and I need to reboot the device to make the changes stick. Even on the free version, you can change these values, but you cannot randomly generate all the values at once and you can't have backup and some other stuff. So once again, this is an app that made me buy the pro version. The next app is Facelock Pro. Once again, an app that made me buy the pro version. So it's a face lock application. So you can lock applications and it will only unlock the app if your face gets detected. It works really well and its performance is really great. The next app is Amplify. Once again, a free app. But if you want to block any applications or if you want to limit any wake locks, you need to donate some money. So once again, the app forced me. The next app is Fold Amount, which is probably the best app to move files to your SD card. Well, normally people use this app to move their games from internal storage to external storage, but I use it for other stuff too. So once again, on the free version, you can only move one app. And to overcome that limitation, I bought the pro version. The next app is SDMate. I never used it. I have been using it just for like a week and I bought it completely randomly, but I really like what this app has to offer. And it was very cheap too. The next app is Link Bubble once again, which forced me to buy the pro version. So on the free version, we can only open one link at max and in the pro version, there's no limit. The next app is Daygram, which is a, which is like a journal app. It was for like 10 rupees, so I bought it. And it was worth the price, at least 30 times worth the price. So the next app is Greenify, which most of you know. So if you want to stop system apps and have additional features on Greenify, you need to have this donation package. Next, we have Tasker, which is like a god of all apps, a must have app on any device. I literally waited for the app to drop its price, but they never did. So I had to pay the premium. The next app is T-Torrent Pro. Next, we have App Dialer, and this is how it looks. And it's a T9 keyboard for quickly accessing your applications and contacts, but I use it only for applications. And finally, we have Gallery Vault, which is an application to hide files on your phone. So the best thing about it is you can hide files, literally any kind of files, images, videos, rar files, anything, open them without decrypting them or without any lag or delay. You can check out those images. You can watch those videos with your favorite apps. Say I want to watch a video that I've hidden using MX player. I can do that. And the best thing is that I can export all my hidden files to a specific folder. I can take a backup, do a restore. I can move all my hidden files 
to the SD card. So lots of features and definitely worth the price. And these are some of the other apps that I bought to encourage and support the developers. So there you have it guys. I'll try to leave links and names of these apps in the description area below this video. So that's it. If you know any app that's worth buying, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.